you come close to any transformer, you will hear a sort of a humming sound, something like this. The question is, what is this humming sound? Is it something normal or abnormal inside the transformer? How we can minimize this and how we can test it? So please join me in the short video talking about transformer noise. Hi everyone, uh, and uh, let's try to answer that question. Why we have this humming sound coming from the transformer? But before that, let me also show you another small clip uh, this is during uh, a visit I did uh, for a substation, 138 kV by 13.8 kV uh, tra uh, transformers. So you will hear a much, much louder humming sound. I will be talking in the background, trying to describe the transformer. So, but try to concentrate on the sound and then we'll come back and I'll try to explain why we have this sounding problem. Uh, this substation output is actually uh, 69 kV and 13.8 kV. So it has two transformers. These two transformers will be uh, supplying uh, the, their output will be the 13.8 kV trans. Uh, uh, we'll come back everybody. Okay, now we heard the sound coming from uh, small transformers and big transformers. So regardless of the size of the transformer, there is a level. Yes, the level is different. When you have a smaller transformer, it is uh, a bit uh, lower level than when you have a bigger transformer. But the question is still, why we have this level of noise in the in the transformer? So basically, this the sources of noise in the transformer comes from two main parts. The first one comes from the flux in the core. The second one comes from the current in the windings. So let's talk about each one. The first one we refer to as the no load sound because we measure this type or, uh, or this, uh, the effect of the flux during doing the normal no load test. So this is why we call it no load sound. The sound that is basically due to the flux and the transformer is not basically connected to any, any load. Now, when you do that, we have, we create something we call it the magnetostriction. What is this magnetostriction? Because when we energize the transformer, you will apply the voltage here, and we start to have the flux. We know that the core is composed from magnetic dipoles. And when the transformer is not energized, they are random oriented. Once you uh, energize the transformer, these magnetic dipoles will start to align with the positive cycle in one direction, and then completely 180 degree when you uh, change the polarity of the, of the voltage. And they keep on orienting themselves. This will lead to the, some elongations and contractions of the transformer core and that will cause some vibration and hence it would cause the sound that we hear or part of the sound this humming sound that we hear coming from the transformer so this type or this source of noise is 24 7 because it is linked to the voltage so the transformer is always energized always you will have the full flux in the transformer but there is also another source of noise coming from the load current at this time. And as we explained before, that when we, the transformer is subjected to a short circuit, there will be some very strong mechanical force that could be very destructive to the extent it damaged the winding mechanically. Now here we don't we are not we are not talking about a fault we are talking about a high level of a current so this will lead to strong magnetic force which will cause again vibration to the structure of the winding of the transformer now these vibrations in the core and in the winding will propagate through the transformer oil until it reaches the tank and then it will propagate to the air and we will hear it as a sound 
So that is briefly what are the causes of the transformer noise. So this is why some uh, some uh, users of the transformers, they want to make sure that the level of the transformer is not that high, especially if they install the transformer close to residential lots. So for this, they might ask the manufacturer to do some testing and trying to tell them what is the level of noise coming from those transformers. Is it acceptable level or not? And for this, they follow the IEC 60076-10 and measurement of the transformer sound level is considered as a special test. So it's not a routine test that you have to, to do it for every single transformer. It's not a type test that you have to do it in every design, but this is only you do it as an agreement between the manufacturer and the user of the of the transformer. Now you measure the sound level coming from the transformer as sound pressure level, and there are some certain sensors are used uh, to uh, to measure the level of the noise coming from the transformer. Now, as I mentioned in the previous slide, that there are two sources coming from the transformer, from the flux and from the current. Now, because most, maybe all transformer manufacturers, they can only produce either the full flux or the full current. They cannot produce both of them. The generators that they have, they cannot do both of them. For that reason, the to measure the level of the noise of the transformer, you have to do the test twice. You have to measure the noise level at the no load test and also at the load test. So you will have two level of noise. One is due to the flux and the other one is due to the current. Then you add them using this formula. So the summation of these two factors this basically is the weighted sound power level due to the rated voltage and current. This component is due to the rated voltage and this component is due to the rated current. So you do the test twice, add them using this formula and then this is the estimated level of noise in the transformer coming from both the voltage and, and the current. The last question is, okay, now we can reduce this sound uh, or this noise coming from the transformer. There are a couple of techniques. I will just mention a few of them here. The most important one, because the core is a major contributor to the sound level, is trying to be as try to have a tight installation of the core. So there is no room for vibrations. So as we know, the core is made from uh, thin sheets to reduce the eddy current uh, losses. And then you have to basically uh, install them manually. Sometimes you do that uh, using uh, automatic setups, but many, most of the time you do that uh, using uh, some scaled workers. So you have to make sure that there is no air gaps here and you try to make the design as tight as possible. Also, you add glue once you are done with the stacking of the sheets, you add glue all over the place to hold those core sheets and minimize the vibration effect. You cannot completely remove the noise, but you can basically try to minimize that. Another way is to install, when you install the transformer, you install it on a dense surface, like a reinforced concrete wall, like this one here. Now, when you install the transformer on such dense surface, it will absorb part of this noise and it will not be uh, amplified. Also, you can use some acoustical damping material in the transformer, uh, inside the transformer, outside the transformer, so that it can absorb and minimize the level of of noise. So these are uh, some uh, uh, basic information about the transformer sound level. It comes from where, how we measure it, and finally, how we can minimize it.